Getting started designing a bridge in Bridge Designer 2015. First, click on Start at the bottom left of your screen. All programs, Bridge Designer 2015 Second Edition, and then click Bridge Designer 2015 Second Edition. We don't need the one for older computers. You'll see this splash screen. The software will open up, and you'll probably see a design tip of the day. You can check that out and hit close. All right, we're going to create a new bridge design. Hit OK. First, to set everything up, we have to go through a few screens. So first says read the design requirement. It's basically just telling you to check out all the main info for your project. Two, enter local contest information. We're not participating in a contest, so we're just going to hit next. Three, deck elevation. On this one, please change that to 12 meters. 12 meters. All the rest of the information, the support configuration, is fine. Standard abutments, no peer, no cable anchorages. All that's good. Next. Four, deck material and truck loading. Both of these are fine as they are. We'll hit next. Five, select a standard truss template. So on this, we have some options. You could go with no truss template. That's going to give you no guides for how you might want to design your bridge. Or... There's some options here. You've got through trusses, which are above the roadway. You've got deck trusses for below the roadway. And these are some standard ones, sort of some basic ones that you might see in bridges all over the place. You could also jump onto Google, find some truss designs, maybe try something out that's a little different from the standard templates that are up there. You probably saw at least some of these in your research document in the past couple of days. So you decide if you want one of the standard designs or no template, then hit next. And for six, title block, fill in your name in the designed by field. Once that's good, next. And on screen seven, design the steel trust. This basically gives you the uh, basic instructions on how to complete this next step here at the drawing board. All right, you're at a screen looks like this. You'll see some tools. We've got the joint tool, the member tool, and a couple others over there too. you got the select and the erase. The basics, you're going to draw some members to make up your bridge, but all those members have to connect to joints. So make sure that the joints are wherever you need them, and then we're going to connect the dots with our lines. Those are going to be our structural members. Here I'm starting off with just a basic beam bridge. I've got some joints enough to connect all those members. And now I'm going to try to load test. We're going to go up to test, load test. We'll see if this can't even be tested. Structural model is unstable. Your bridge cannot be load tested because it is unstable. To make it stable, you should modify the configuration of your truss such that it is composed entirely of interconnected triangles. All right, so that simple beam bridge isn't going to cut it. We've got to do some more work. Okay, the bridge is looking pretty good. Let's try to test it again. Load test under the test menu. And here we're in our 3D environment. We've got our bridge shown here in colors. Notice the red color is showing compression forces on structural members. The blue color is showing tension forces. And we have that just under the dead load, just the weight of the bridge itself. Our live load is going to be the truck, which is going to roll onto the bridge, add some extra load, and we'll see if that design can support all of that weight. And in this case, it cannot. Our bridge failed the test, so now we have to go back to the drawing board. Test, drawing board, and here highlighted in red are all the members that failed due to compression forces. If there were some members highlighted in blue, those probably failed due to tension forces. So now we have to go up and start experimenting a bit up at the top. Notice I can click on a member and choose the material. The type, solid bar or hollow tube here, for example, and also to the right of that, the size, the thickness uh, of that material. And on this test, 
Uh, those changing the solid bar to hollow tube couldn't even support the dead load, so that clearly wasn't the way to go. Here I'm going to make a couple of more tweaks uh, to these members. For yours, you would have to keep playing around with the material, the size, the type. Try to make your bridge strong enough to support not only the dead load, but also the live load of the truck as it drives by. Notice here we've got our compression forces, very slight red up there. We've got a slight blue down at the bottom for our tension forces. Our dead load is well handled. Now for the live. Some more compression, some more tension, but the truck makes it across the bridge past the test. Once you have a bridge that passes the test, or once you get to the end of the period and you're out of time, grab the snipping tool and take a snip of your drawing board. Show me the design you came up with. We'll save that as, call it something about bridge design or something, right? And also, it would be great if you could go back into the test environment here and grab a snip of your bridge during the test. Maybe right while the truck's on it or once the truck's just passed, we'll hit the pause button. And again, grab a snip. I hope you enjoyed designing and testing a model bridge in the software here today and that you've learned a lot about bridges over the past couple of days because for the rest of our project you will be designing, constructing, and testing your very own model bridge.